Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video for this 2020 on a 20 plate Nissan Navara It's 2.3 DCI 190 Tecna TT Auto It's done just 59,000 miles and it's got full Nissan service history with three services recorded Okay so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home as if you were here today with me in person. There's a walk around the truck with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, scratches or dints. We'll look at the wheels and tyres, looking at the tread depths. We're going to have a look in the back. This one's got a rubble and lock, so we'll look at that. When we've done that, we're going to have a look in the cab, looking at the seats and the functionality. I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. When we've done that, we're going to pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine bay. And then finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis, and of course, if there is one, a spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you'd like to buy it, a small deposit will secure it, and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to finance it, we can go through an application with you, which takes five minutes, and we can usually get you a decision within around an hour. Now, it's worth mentioning that it is plus VAT, so you can't borrow that, so you do need it as a deposit. It's also worth mentioning while you're watching the video, if you think I've missed something or if you'd like to see something in a little bit more detail, please do ask, it's not a problem. We work on complete transparency here at Just Compare Cars, so I'd rather show you everything while you're sat at home and comfortable so you know when it's delivered or you can fetch it. It's not going to be a wasted journey or a waste of money. I'm sure you've all been there, I have, hence we do these videos. Okay, so the bonnet is nice and clean, free from damage. There's, everything looks really nice and tidy with it. I will apologise actually to be fair. This arrived two days ago and I've not been here to be able to video it. Um, so I've not washed it specifically. I'm sure you'd appreciate when you see them wet, you'll never see them exactly the right. So it has got a little bit of fallout from the trees. It's that time of year when there's lots of pollen in the air. So I'm probably going to sneeze as well. But yeah, look, you can see the bonnet is in beautiful condition. No nasty marks or dents. It really does look the part. Obviously, it's a UK vehicle, it's been on UK roads. There are going to be some stone chips. It's not peppered though, so it's worth mentioning that. So, driver's side headlights, obviously the late style one with the black inserts, looks great, it really does. Got the daylight running lights as well. Front bumper, again, it's in great condition, uh, as is the grille, and also the passenger side headlight. Passenger side front wing is in nice clean condition. No nasty marks or dents, it really does look very clean and tidy. Being picky, there is a tiny little stone chip just there. It's not bad. So, uh, passenger side front wheel and tyre, the wheel's in great condition, no curbing. Continental tyre, four millers of tread, four millers tread approximately, and under the arch looks great. Mirror back looks good. Windscreen is free from stone chips and cracks. Over the pillars on the passenger side. Always look at the pillars in case someone's ever put a roof rack on it. No damage. And the roof looks good as well. So look down at the passenger side. So always take the view down the panels like this because obviously it will show any imperfections or marks. It's always worth doing that. Hopefully you can see from that. I can't see anything that's sticking out. Let's have a good look. Now I can see there is a little dint just there, and I'm not joking, it is little. I don't even think it's going to show up on camera. It does just, it's like a pinhead, but it is there. But other than that, nothing else. Side steps are in great condition too. Rear quarter. Spot on, nothing on there at all. Nice and clean and tidy. Passenger rear wheel and tyre. Wheel's in good condition. Got a little bit of curb there and also there as well it looks like it's been touched in to be fair uh, matching continental tyre matching tread depth passenger tyre tail lights in nice clean condition no damage missing or cracks rear bumpers in great condition obviously we've got parking sensors and 360 cameras on this oh, it's got the five year hundred thousand mile warranty as well that's good so that should be intact as well tailgates in great condition no damage no issues at all. There's no tow bar on this one either, so it shows it's not in an odd life. If you do need one, let us know. We can get one on for you to trade cost. It's a mountain top roll and lock. Arguably the best you can get. Not cheap. 
couple of grand ish plus the nasty VAT of course it's in great condition really is once just a bit of a polish maybe so in the back I can do it one-handed obviously to open these I don't know if you know that if you know that you use a button I prefer to use the handle so if you would you give it a quick tight clip no it's not gonna work I can't do it It's locked. Why? Oh well. So anyway, when it's unlocked, you just push that across to like that. You can hear it clicking, and it'll just open. Um, in the back, it's in superb condition. Obviously, the roll and lock does work. By the way, I'm not hiding anything. I'm not trying to purposefully. But yeah, good condition. So drive side tail light. Again, it's nice and clean. No damage, misting or cracks. Rear quarter. Again, it's in great condition. I can't see anything specific. There's a little mark there. There is a little mark there. Not serious then. Other than that, can't see anything else. Oh, there is a little, there is a little tiny scratch just there, look. Not bad. I can't feel it on my finger. That might polish out. Driver side, rear wheel and tire. Wheels in good condition. Matching continental tire. Matching tread depth. Around the back of the window is in great condition, there's no damage. Roof's in good condition, there's no damage either. Pillars, spot on, no dints or damage, mirror back's good. So we'll look down the driver's side. And again, looking down the panels, it's in great condition, there's no dints or damage. A little bit of lifting on the so it's had a little bit of a, a rash or something on a rock or something and they've coloured it in but it doesn't look bad but the panels are spot on no dints or damage mirror back's good obviously and then driver side front wing is in nice clean condition as well finally driver side front wheel and tyre the wheel's in great condition it's a matching continental tyre uh, matching tread depth to the opposite side so look Externally, it's in great condition. It really is. It looks great as well. It's got a mountain top roll, mountain top roll and lock. Get my words out. Um, it's got four continental tires all round, looking great, uh, great shape. All the wheels look good as well. No tow bar, so it's not towed anything. Have a look inside. So, driver side door card. Again, it's in great condition. There's a little tiny rub mark, so someone with probably longer legs has had it. I think a lady's owned this, to be honest with you. So it looks like a lady car. Uh, all the buttons look in great condition. Armrests nice and tidy. Driver's seat, bolsters are nice and firm. All the leather looks great, really very well presented. It's a fully electric seat. Works spot on. Uh, mats are in great condition, there's no damage under there either. Let's get in. Passenger seat, bolsters are nice and firm. Again, same as the driver's seat. Leather's in great condition, no damage. Uh, dashboard's in great condition as well. No, no one's stuck anything stupid to the dashboard and left any horrible marks or anything like that. It smells really nice inside. That's why I said I think it's a girl's car. It smells a bit perfumey, so I would guess it's been a lady car. Steering wheel's in great condition, no damage. Buttons look great. Zoom that out a little bit, there you go. Stitching looks good. Everything looks absolutely spot on inside, to be honest with you. So it's only got one key at the moment. Obviously, these are main dealer part exchanges, so you know they do come afterwards sometimes. <coughs> Let me start it up. Start it up, you put your foot on your brake, press your stop start button, it will preheat if it needs to, and it just fires into action, no issues at all. Uh, really really good trucks these are to be fair and the later ones with these head units you couldn't ask for any more really really good bit of kit so obviously on the dashboard you can see there's no warning i was about to say there's no warning that's other than the fuel's a bit low handbrakes off and obviously i'm not wearing my seatbelt but other than that nothing else uh dashboard let's have a look at reversing camera first obviously you've got your 360 degree image to the left it's all right works as it should obviously your reverse image i prefer it actually from being really honest if you click on your camera button and it gives you a better view i prefer that one so you're not going to knock any kids over you're not going to curb your wheels that works way better for me 
Um, and then obviously when you're going to drive, because you clicked on your camera button, you get your forward facing view. So if you're going to go park against a wall or something like that, it works wicked. So I click that out. Um, so I'll look at the map. Really good processors in these. They work a little bit like your phone. So you'll find it's got a capacitive screen so you can pinch in and zoom out, same as your phone does. Works spot on, obviously it's got Apple CarPlay, Android, etc. Really, really good systems in these. Back some joys at Greg's. There you go. But the speakers sound good. There's no distortion. Absolutely spot on. All the seats in the back and everything look great. Roof lining's really very nice and clean and tidy. There's no damage. Um, as I say, I think it's a girl car. And, and girl cars have always been really very, very looked after. Look, like I said before, you know, if you do need to see something specifically, let me know. Not a problem. Happy to show you anything. But everything works as it should. Switchable four wheel drive. So let's try air con, it's getting warmer now, isn't it? Let's put it on cold. Uh, turn it up, air con's on. Now I can tell you, it's instantly cold and it's got that bite to it. So I can tell you straight away, the air con is fine. It's quite nice actually, just sit here for a minute. Um, horn works, obviously windows. Tinted windows in the rear. Um, actually folding mirrors, everything works spot on, absolutely, it's a beautiful truck, heated seats, let's give them a whirl, they're on, just down here, <coughs> give them a minute, it's worth mentioning why you sat here with me waiting for that to heat up, if you like what you see, have a look on Facebook, you'll find more pictures of this truck on there, you'll never find anywhere else, give us a like and a follow, then you get to see all the new things as they arrive, before anyone else really, because they always got on there first, Heated seats work fine, they came on really quick. Right, let's switch it off. Pop the bonnet, which is just here. Door card in the back, again, really nice and tidy, no damage. All the seats are in beautiful, in fact, to be honest with the seats in the back, I don't think they've been used. You can tell the bolsters feel like new. Uh, underneath, you've got your tool kit, everything's all there. Obviously you've got your mats in the back. All the carpets and everything look great. Smells nice in the back too. Worth mentioning, we do specialise in commercial vehicles, pickup trucks, vans, tippers. We've got loads on site, always new ones arriving. And they've all got the same style walk around videos as well. Uh, passenger door card, again, spot on. Everything looks really very nice and tidy. Worth mentioning, we are AA affiliated with Trading Standard Approved as well. So you do know you're dealing with decent people. We really do care about, you know, you and also the vehicles that we sell, which is important. <coughs> Let's look under the bonnet. Right, so under the bonnet. <coughs> Excuse me. A fever number one. If it has got manufacturer's warranty, I couldn't see anything on the thing. I don't know if it's maybe Mr. Service or something, I don't know. But if it's got the manufacturer's warranty, which I think it probably has, it will have, uh, oh we go, how are we going there? It's got a genuine battery. So if it has got manufacturer's warranty and your battery goes flat, God's sake, don't get it to the RAC, take it to Nissan and they'll put you a free battery on, it's not a problem. Right, so under the bonnet, you can see, well, as I say, it's nice and clean. It's not, it's obviously, you know, we've not cleaned it. It is what it is in that sense, but you can see, more importantly, around the engine bay, no signs of any historic oil leaks at all. Uh, no, you know, oil residue around the turbo unit. It's nice and clean and dry, which is obviously what you need to see. Um, fluids are clean and to the correct levels. You can see there. But yeah, everything's spot on. But like I've said before, you know, if you do need to see something in a little bit more detail, please do ask. It's not a problem. Nothing to hide at all. Complete transparency here. You won't find that really many places, will you? Let's be honest. Underneath, underside of the engine is in great condition. No signs of any historic oil leaks. The chassis is in great condition, as is the prop, the exhaust, and the rear diff. As you can see, we have got a spare wheel. It's a steel, and it's got a brand new Continental tyre. Okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here today with me in person. Maybe a little bit more. I'd rather show you too much that I think than not enough. I'm sure you'd agree with that. But look, really appreciate you watching this with me. Take care. Stay safe.
Bye-bye.